Jeff Siegel, I'm Dirk Krusey. For the first time, Jeffrey, in five years, we are not in Hot Springs, Arkansas, for Derby Day, the marquee event and final major prep for the Kentucky Derby on the first Saturday in May. You're standing on your soapbox. I'm looking you in the eye. Is there anyone on Saturday that can look American Pharaoh in the eye? I don't think so. And I think we're going to see a repeat of the Rebel in which American Pharaoh was able to establish the pace. And he didn't even break that well in that race. Made the lead, ears went up, three quarters and 115 just galloping along, chirped to at the top of the stretch. And as you can see in this video, he was very strong in the final furlong. It was an off track, but he obviously doesn't need any kind of off track to propel him. And as impressive as he was winning the Rebel in the prep for this race, he may very well run even better. He's worked spectacular since that last race right here at Santa Anita. Three quarters and 11 and change just the other day, and he was just unbelievably sharp. And he arrives uh, in Arkansas running against essentially the same group sure. of horses with the same exact pace scenario, similar to Dortmund. Dortmund won the Santa Anita Derby with the same exact kind of front running trip against the same horses he had just beaten uh, previous to that in the San Felipe. And I think we're going to see the same thing here, a repeat uh, effort of the Rebel, only maybe even more impressive. Well, if the handicapping as aspect of the race is a foregone conclusion, what are we looking for from the Pharaoh? Well, I'd like to see him look somebody in the eye early on, or maybe even sit second and prove that he can do that because you're not guaranteed to make an easy lead in the Kentucky Derby. We know that. He's not a runoff. He doesn't run off and kind of hang on. He's a very easy horse to ride. But again, will he be as effective sitting behind another horse if in fact that's what it calls for? I don't know if that's going to happen in the Arkansas Derby. But if it did, I think it would teach us and uh, let us believe that that's something that he could do if in fact it's required in Kentucky. Par three contest on Wednesday down in Georgia in Augusta. Saw the Golden Bear get a hole in one. Lucas has Mr. Z. He's been here, done that. Far right looking for three in a row, undefeated at Oaklawn Park. Who's the viable option if you're playing exotic? Well, far right is the horse that's going to come from way out of it, so he won't be impacted by American Pharaoh. There are others in here who are actually going to be within hailing distance and maybe go after him in the far turn and maybe pay the price. And here comes Far Right to maybe pick up the pieces and run second. Now, Far Right is two for two at Oakland, as you mentioned. I don't think either one of those races were spectacular. They both were kind of race shape aided in which he was able to sit back and the pace situation kind of crumbled in front of him. So maybe he's not quite as good as those races make him look, but he does have Mike Smith. He's going to get the mile and an eighth and he's going to be running on late. So maybe he seems like the logical exact a partner, but you're not going to make any money with him. You, however, have a different opinion. I like Bold Conquest in here, 20 to 1 on the morning line, paired up numbers, all important third start of the year. Asmussen can fire with horses mm -hmm. like this, and he's got more tactical speed than Far Right. I think he gets first run and tries uh, American Pharaoh before mm -hmm. the, the closers come <laughs> from the clouds. I think that's the exact at the very least. Bold Conquest is going to outrun his odds. Uh, Saturday, mm -hmm. Arkansas Derby here on Twitter. Mm -hmm. What about the full card, you and me? Well, I'll be on all day, as you will be on Twitter, and I'll be looking at all the races at Oaklawn Park throughout the, the afternoon. I'll also be watching very closely the races at Aqueduct and Keeneland, and of course here at Santa Anita. So, uh, dawn to dusk for me on yeah. Twitter. I'll be there. View this as a movie trailer. Him and I, coming to a theater near you soon.